little face? Cystic fibrosis, it's a genetic disease that um, it causes excessive mucus to build up like throughout my body and uh, a lot of people usually think of it as like a lung disease and it mostly affects the lungs but it's like an entire body disease basically. But there's been an analogy made where it's like imagine breathing through a coffee straw. Uh, I have diabetes from CF so I have like insulin shots. I was diagnosed at three months old. The likelihood of somebody getting cystic fibrosis, um, it all depends on whether your parents are a carrier. Basically, one in 25 people are a carrier of the gene, and then if <clears throat> two people, like my parents obviously both had the gene, if two people have a child <clears throat> and they're both carrying the gene, that child has a one in four chance of having cystic fibrosis. Maybe 40,000 in the people in the U.S. who have CF. So how many how many medications do you think it is? Do you know the amount? Pills, that's one, two, three, four, five, wait, 16, 17, 26 pills. It depends on how much I eat, so like 26 to 30 maybe. Every day. <laughs> this is a machine that I use. It's really heavy and it makes a lot of noise. You can see like the stuff coming out. So, like, and then I just inhale that. I just put the vest on and then buckle it up. The point of this is like, so the medicine I'm taking right now is not an antibiotic, which means that like, it's meant to like, go into my lungs and then loosen everything up. So, um, the point is to like, get everything out, you know? So basically it just, um, hooks up to here with these tubes and inflates the vest with air and then shakes it. my life like my family I mean I wish it wasn't this way but they kind of their lives are also kind of centered around Sia like in the morning if I have to do my treatments it's it's like an extra half an hour if I if I wake up late then they're late or either they're late or I feel bad all day my family is like they're always there for me and um, I mean it's tough on all of us but um, they'll always like be there for me. The median life expectancy, it's the age is 37, which it basically means 50% of the people with CF die younger than 37 and 50% die older than 50, 37. I try not to let it be my entire life. I mean, the thing is like, things cause more pain, like when I breathe and stuff than normal people, but that doesn't mean I can't do it. I try to stay positive all the time, and I try to be like, CF isn't gonna bring me down, and I have this disease, but it doesn't have me, you know. Now I'm like the ambassador for Pipeline to a Cure, which is a huge event, and that I, I spoke at for the first time um, in this past August, and it was like 800 people or something crazy like that. I guess before I die, I just, I want to do as many things as I can. Of course I want to make a difference. I want to travel the world and everybody does, you know, but like, I want to visit as many places as I can. And I also want to settle down and have a family and be a mom and just grow old with somebody and have grandkids and giant reunions and, you know. <laughs> there is no cure. <laughs> for cystic fibrosis, uh, but they're actually getting pretty close.